Once the acrobatic skills are coming into play, we also have to start to do jumps and leaps. Many athletes are different. Some of them are very flexible, like Sabrina. Some of them are very uh, more tight and more explosive, like Aaron. So what I try to do is choose the skills and the code that are going to be more geared toward the individual athlete. So those particular skills, some of them, like a tuck jump with a full turn, is easier for Aaron to do, where a flexibility skill for Sabrina is a little bit better for her. So you try to gear their routines towards what their body type is like. Now Erin can do, she's very quick and powerful, so I'm not going to have her do flexibility skills. I'm going to have her do first a tuck jump with a full turn. Very good. And now she's going to do a wolf jump with a full turn. Okay. Once she can do it on the low beam, I get it right to a high beam with a mat on it. Show me a tuck jump full turn on the high beam. Jump right up. Up. Okay, one more time. Try not to lean forward as much. Just jump head straight up. Pretty good. Let's do one more tuck jump full turn and try to jump straight up in the air and tuck on the second part of your turn. Very good. Okay, now Sabrina is going to show us a ring jump where she's going to show off her flexibility in her leaps. So she's going to do a ring jump. Turn around and do it the other way, too. Very good. Now, Sabrina also has a very good split, so I'm going to have her do a switch leg leap. nice. Now, because Sabrina is an accomplished gymnast and she's very flexible, I'm going to have her try to put it together to do a switch ring leap. This is something maybe to be in a, in a future routine when she's a higher level gymnast, but we're working on things that are developmental. Pretty close. One more time. Very nice.